Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Bashem Rakakadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Salutations to all the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad, teaching his word in sincerity and truth. Shalom. All right, I'm a brother Taz of War from the GMS New Jersey camp. And uh, this one here is a quick hit, straight to the point. I'm in the book of Luke, chapter 18 and 8. It says, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? All right, and you see there, there's a question mark. It says, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth? All right, so the answer to that is yes. But the faith that will be found, you know, when Yahweh shall return will be with his elect. Okay, you have a number of his, of his chosen people. All right. Dealing with the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native and Seminole Indians, West Indians, Haitians. Two-thirds of them are numbered to, a, to the sword to see destruction because they despise this truth. And the elect of those, the one-third, the 144,000, will see salvation because why? They had faith in Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. So let me read again, Luke 18 and 8. I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Who will the Lord revenge? Of, with who will the Lord avenge speedily, quick? It will be the elect. It says, nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall he find faith on the earth. That's, and this is also due to the parable here, uh, written in Luke 18. And um, before I read that, you know, what really brought me to this uh, verse, what really brought me to this verse was, was the fact that, you know, I'm at the park, and I'm sitting in my car, just meditating, you know, looking to get some quiet time to myself and just, um, you know, meditate. And I'm watching I'm not, and I'm, I'm, I'm observing and I see, you know, Jake running the trail, the track with a mask on, you know. You see Jake in the field amongst the trees, you know, social distancing with a mask on, drinking, smoking, you know. And how idiotic is that? And if you look that word idiotic up, it's like yeah. And if you look that word idiotic up, quick Google search, it means what? Very stupid. So the Lord's two thirds, okay, the, the Lord's people that, that's numbered to the two third club, they're very stupid. They're idiotic, man. You know, I sat to myself and I said, that just shows you that they don't have any faith. Right at the time. All right, and this time we're living in this season, you know, you should be believing in the truth. You should know the truth. But because the Lord have them blinded, because they despise this word, okay, because they're not of the elect, then they have to be idiot idiotic, all right? Very stupid, man. To listen to Esau about this mass, and yes, you have to obey and apply by the rules when necessary. So when you go into the store, wear a mask. But why in your own freedom, time, liberty, you know, you want to get some air, some space, you want to get some nature in you or around you, some oxygen, you go amongst the park and the trees and the plants, you know, you're sitting there with a mask on, you know, you're not even breathing in the, uh, the oxygen, you know, to heal your cells, man. That's just stupid. Then you got a person running, sweating bullets, you know, mass is soaked. And you're breathing in nothing but the shit that you're breathing out, man. You know, making your immune system more compromised, you know, and not making it strong, man. That's idiotic. That's very, very stupid. You know, so that's what brought me to this verse, Luke 18 and 8. So I'll just read the parable real quick and I'll run it through. Lord willing, I hope this lesson is edifying. This is Luke 18 and 1. And he spec the parable unto them to this end. That men ought always to pray and not faint. And that's another reason uh, why uh, you have those that don't believe. Because, because for one, they're blinded by the Lord. And number two, you know, the Most High having given them, you know, his, um, let's say the Lord having given them this knowledge. Because Jake is so ignorant and not knowing and so rebellious that they're ignorant to the Most High's righteousness. So they have prayed unto a Jesus Christ, a Jesus, a Jehovah, you know, whatever gods they pray unto, but they won't, they won't be praying unto the true and living power. And it's because they don't pray. 
you know so that's stuff to hope for elect it's a must that we you know apply these scriptures and uh obey what the lord told us and that's ought to always to pray and not faint always pray you know it says saying there was a city a judge with feared not the most high neither regarded man and there was a widow in that city and she came unto him saying avenge me of my adversary and he would not for a while but afterward he said within himself though i fear not the most high neither regard man yet because this widow troubleth me i will avenge them least by her continued coming she weary me so you had an unjust judge here which didn't fear the most high but because this situation with this woman kept pleading and, and sobbing you know crying for help from this judge he was sick of it so he was he it's only his only um way of solving this issue was to help this woman so she don't come back crying or being troubled anymore all right and if an unjust judge would do this how much more our heavenly father and yahweh shot i would deliver our savior it says yet because this widow troubled me i will avenge her least by her continued coming she weary me and the lord said hear what the unjust judge say and shall not the most high avenge his own elect which cry day and night unto him though he bear long with them so the lord is bearing long with the with the with, with his elect in the earth praying for the downfall of this place praying that yahweh shall return and you know destroy these edomites you know because the the idiotic laws being passed the idiotic uh uh ideology in which they pushing these agendas it's very stupid man you know it, it's not even common sense it's idiotic it's very very stupid you know so the lord is bearing long with his elect day and night which cry day and night verse 8 i tell you that he will avenge them speedily nevertheless when the son of man cometh shall he find faith on the earth and the question the answer to that is yes but that's amongst his elect all right and the elect is very scarce as it's written it's a small remnant okay and only those will believe in the lord in his absence as of today okay the ones who was chosen from the very beginning and that's starting with the men first all right dealing with the first fruits all right so you know that's basically the point um well well and i hope this lesson is edifying i want to give all praises to yahweh by shem yahweh shai by shem rakakodash double honors to our apostles and elders of great millstone salutations to the lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad teaching his word and sincerity and truth shalom